welcome. This is Melissa Arma with a stock swoosh. And today we're going to talk about two things, beginner risk and advanced risk. So the amount of money you risk per trade obviously has to do with your cash balance, but it also should have to do with your experience. And this doesn't mean that you've been trading for 10 years. It means your experience as far as how long maybe you've been trading with me. When did you do the class? How have you been doing? How are you implementing the system? You know, I think it's okay for everybody to start out with a beginner risk. That doesn't have to be forever. It could be for a couple of days, one week. If you're feeling comfortable, then you can step it up. Earnings season starts in a few weeks, and that is a good time to increase your risk if you're doing well. And again, a lot of people are going to be very surprised, I think, with earnings season because I think not everything is going to go the same way. In other words, you're going to have different sectors doing different things this earnings season, and I think that's going to trip a lot of people up. One of the things that I do very well is I'm looking to do one pick a day, one thing per day that I'm doing. So set your risk that you're like, okay, I can take two trades a day. I, I think one isn't enough. So give yourself two trades a day, then divide whatever amount you want to risk per day by two. And then you say, okay, I can take two trades a day. It doesn't mean you will take two trades a day. It means you could, you could. If the first trade stops, you can take a retake or a second trade. If the first trade works, you're done. You're done for the day. And very often that is exactly what I do. But you can trade with a small account. You can trade, obviously, with a big account. But, I mean, how much you risk really is a factor of your experience and how much money you have together joined and your comfort level. You know, everybody wants to get rich trading. I get it. I get it. Everybody wants to make a lot of money. But you may not be comfortable risking the amount of money you need to risk. You may not be comfortable risking $1,000 a trade, for example, or let alone more. So, you know, you might only be comfortable risking $500 a trade, even if you have 250 grand in account. So then, then risk it. You know, if you make $500 a day, that's $2,500 a week. That's 10 grand a month. That's, that's a really good amount of money to make actively trading. That's 120 grand a year. What if you only wanted to risk $100 a trade? What if you only made $500 a week? What's wrong with that? It's an extra $2,000 a month or 24 grand a year. Some people are losing trading the market. In fact, most people are. So even if you would only make $500 a week, that is more than many people are making trading. So, you know, that's very doable, even with a small account, even with a small account. So I think people's expectations, like they're thinking out here, and that's great. You got to pull it in. You got to look at what you have. You got to get a plan of action. You got to get organized. You got to get real with yourself about what you want, what you need. And being successful and making money really is what you need to do. And then you build on it as you go. So you may not be comfortable risking a certain amount of money right now or even have the size and account to do it. But as you trade, as you get better, as you're booking profits, as you're learning, as you're doing it, as you're gaining experience, as you're with me in the room, then you will build up your account. You will risk more over time and you will do better. And then obviously your confidence will grow as well. If you have any questions or you're interested in the Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a good day, everyone.